We've learned that a moderate level of inflation is normally associated with a good economy. But what we saw, and in particular we saw in the early 70s, in 1973 when the oil embargo hit, is that we started to experience something called stagflation, or something that was kind of labeled stagflation. It's this weird, bizarre circumstance where you have inflation at the same time as stagnation in the economy. So that's where they get this kind of combination of words of stagflation. And let's think about how that would happen. In particular, let's think about how that would happen due to a supply shock. There's other ways that you could get stagflation if, if you have strange regulations, over-regulation, if the government does weird things. But the, the, the classic example is a supply shock. And we say supply shock, it's something like an oil embargo, where all of a sudden the, the, the supply of oil the supply of something just goes down goes down dramatically and it could be because of some type of emergency or it could be literally because of an embargo and just think about what the what how that would affect the rest of this chain so if the supply of something dramatically goes down we know that supply has an inverse relationship with price so if supply goes down then bam right there you see price price would immediately go up and we think about something like oil, you might say, hey, wait, that just, you know, oil is only the part of my pocketbook where I drive around. But it's not, because even when you buy a fruit, you're really paying for the transportation cost. So the price of oil affects fruit, affects food, affects any good and services. It's one of these things that's pervasive through the economy. So the prices of a bunch of things could generally go up. Well, if the price of a bunch of things generally go up, what's going to happen to demand? Once again, inverse relationship right over here. Demand. Demand is going to plummet. Demand's going to plummet. If demand plummets, utilization plummets, utilization plummets, investment plummets, and profit is going to plummet. And profit's going to plummet now because one utilization is going down and price has gone up, but it's not the price that they can sell things at. Now price is fundamentally a big cost for, especially if you think of, if, if you think of a, from a US centric point of view, if oil is an import in the case of the early 70s, then price is also price is also price going up is going to have in or i guess they they have an inverse relationship so the price goes up it's really going to be on the cost side so once again hitting profits hard and if all of these things go down that's just going to kill employment kill wages and then further make demand even worse so stagflation is that situation where you have some type of shock to the system where in in the kind of the classic scenario it hits supply so hard it causes a, a massive inflation in one part of the economy and in the case of oil part that affects other parts of the economy and then all of that kind of throws a monkey wrench in everything else